into his eyes, will you? Why has he got hypnotic powers? I'm already late. I need a second opinion. Yeah, for like the first time in months. Funny how it just happens when they're supposed to be hanging out with Marlon. I'll swap you that bearded dragon for... Can you try not to be too late back tonight? I could do with a hand with Leo's bath time. For once, can you not just manage without me? Why can't I go and see my best mate without a guilt trip? Manage without you, Paddy? That is all I ever do. Do you know what? Come back as late as you like. See if I even notice. Not being funny, it was your idea. Me giving him those tickets. Yeah, more for me. He doesn't need an excuse to behave like a big daft teenager. I'm not his wife. I'm his get out clause from having to grow up. Oi, Mum! You're on strike today, or what? Andy's moaning he hasn't seen you yet. Yeah, well, he should try cleaning up after you. This place is a pigsty the way you leave it. Mm. Uh, I'm not the one that leaves cans everywhere. Or oh, have you started drinking early in the morning, though? You know, I've never seen someone come in off the walk of shame so full of themselves. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Betty now. You'll be telling me to keep the noise down there. Oh, too much information. <laughs> yes, go on. Which one was it? Did you have a big party last night, or was it just you? Crying yourself into your booze, playing Celine Dion albums all night. Mm -hmm. Just you remember who's boss around here. Now go and get changed, and if you're not out there in five minutes, I'll be docking your wages. What do you reckon? Show a bit of leg all look like butter wouldn't melt. Well, I don't think flashing a bit of fire at the jury is going to get you off, if that's what you mean. Well, it's not going to hurt, either. When I said I'm pulling out all the stops for today, I meant every last one. Just let your lawyers do the talking, not your cleavage. If you're innocent, then, well, it'll all come out, won't it? They'll see that. Grow up, love. But it don't matter who did it. The only thing that gets you out of a place like this is paying top whack for your lawyer. What do you mean by top whack? Mm. My dad remortgaged his house, put it that way. Please don't tell me you've been scrimping on your costs. No, I don't think so, anyway. Well, how much? Come on. 30 grand. Oh, OK, not too shabby. What do you reckon? I reckon I'll be buying you a drink outside before long. <laughs> Preferably in your pub. I'll be on the house, trust me. I was hoping you'd say that. Come on, ladies! Oh, sorry. But how is this fun? I'm getting flashbacks to doing PE in my school shoes. <gasps> I'm gonna kill Brett. Outward bounce. I thought he meant paintballing and some pub grub or flipping boot camp. I think I'm gonna die, Paddy. Come on, you two, get a move on! I can't believe I fell out with Roman for this. I've been a right bit the way I spoke to her. It must be calmer then. This is what you get. I don't know. Whatever I do, it's wrong. Well, sorry then. We might as well just go up to the bar. I thought you were dying. It might be the only way to save ourselves while we still can. Just like that. Here we go. Come on, guys, give me 40. That's it, nose to ground. I would lamp him if I were her. Can you imagine your own boyfriend making you go through an interview? Hmm. Yeah, but we'd still be calling him names if we just gave you the job, wouldn't we? Hello? Well, why was nobody with him? Who is it? He shouldn't. Oh, no, it's my granddad. He's had a fall. I think he's broke his hip. We thought it would be better all round if we got someone impartial to do the interview. If being the boss's dad is impartial, then fine, bring it on. Oh, well, I'm not taking sides with either of you, Jenny. Sorry. Right. Could you give us an example of how you prioritise when um, everyone's stressed in a busy environment? Absolutely. Being a mother. No, I mean a work scenario. Babies are the most demanding bosses. They don't understand the word no. You just have to work non-stop, put yourself second. You mean put your job second? No, no. Life still carries on. You just have to get on with it. Do everything, please everyone. Well, that's exhausting. It mustn't leave you with much uh, energy for work. No, I, th I think it makes you more focused. What used to take me an hour takes me five minutes since I had a baby. It's all the time you get. Well, that's not good if it needs attention to detail. I want to be a role model to my daughter. I want her to know that if you work like a dog, 
and make sacrifices, it pays off. And that's exactly what you get when you hire me. Oh, it's nice here, isn't it? Posh. Yeah, I always drive past here when I'm on my rounds. I was going to bring Rona for our anniversary, but went to cost an arm and a leg. What, so you thought you'd treat yourself instead? Because you're worth it. <laughs> I reckon if I booked a room for it, she'd probably just tell me to go on my own anyway. Still make a day of it. Look, but it says it's a spa though. Isn't that like colonic what's it? You know, with the tubes and that's disgusting. It's just massage, isn't that? Anyway, I reckon they deserve a bit of pampering after all the misery. <laughs> it says overnight, look. If you're doing this to avoid her, it's not gonna help, you know. Well it is, I just need a bit of space. Don't come that one. The girls will go mad. That's the best thing about the fact we can't stand talking to each other. What? We'll never know we've blagged them. <gasps> oh. Oh. Do you know what, though? I was actually just going to say my back has really been hurting since we did that assault course. Mine too. I don't think I'm going to be able to drive back anyway. You know, I can barely move. Oh, really? One more for Dutch Courage before we phone them. Genius. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> Anything happens to Paddy, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. He's many things, but, you know, he's, he's hardly G.I. Joe. <laughs> Excuse me, it was you that made me give him the tickets. <laughs> anyway, you'll thank me when he comes back ripped. Oh, who says I want him to? Hello, just talking about you. Uh, two orange juices, please. Mm, how's the adventure playground going? Well, you missed a good one the other night. It was like flying amp day for fitties. It's like you didn't pull in if they were fit. Yeah, I'm always fighting them off. And there was one that was like Kelly Brooks' fitter younger sister. <laughs> and where is she now? Back in the asylum? You know, if you got a bit more action, you'd be a lot less cranky. Oh, I get all the action I need, sunshine. In fact, you can manage on your own this afternoon. There you go. Well, is there a doctor there? Do you want me to come pick you up, Marlon? Is Laurel all right? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Marlon can't take the pace. I might have known. All right, darling. All right, love you. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's ridiculous. I can't believe Rona taught them into going. I mean, there are hermits more outward bound than those two. Excuse me, uh, it's Paddy that's laid up, but thanks for your concern anyway. No, that was Marlon. He's done his back in. No, it's Paddy. Well, one of us is being lied to, and uh, Marlon's got no reason to keep anything from me. You know what the worst thing is? She's probably right. Ah, she can't be that sure of herself. It was her that started the point scoring. No. Paddy's lied to me. Again. What a great marriage we have. Ali, I could have done with you at the pub earlier. Rona, where'd she get off? You won't believe this. Listen, please, I've got to go. Look, can you tell Rishi that I hung on to try and talk to him, but that interview is taking longer than test cricket? Go where? Dan and Ruby are going to have to manage with kids for a bit. Grandad needs family near him. You can't take on everyone's problems. I have to. My granddad was the one adult who was always there for us when we were kids. The least I can do is return the favour now, yeah? Well, thank you for coming in. Well, as you know, we are seeing other candidates. Well, sure. So, how did you do? Jen, didn't slip by the book. No special treatment. Oh, she certainly didn't get that. I'm sorry you had to be tough, but I know you wouldn't want it any other way. Talk about it at home. Sure. Good. You, you did good. Thank you, Rishi. You don't have to say that just to be nice. No, I am serious. I haven't seen a good interview like that in years. And, um,. You know, I doubt anyone can match that. So, would I have got it then? Oh, on paper, I mean. You didn't embarrass yourself, that's the main thing. Rishi, can you send the next one in, please? <sighs> that has got to be the scrawniest Christmas tree. More like a glorified pipe cleaner. But I suppose you've uh, you've got to make do when times are tough. 
Not that I'm saying you cheat. Good, because you wouldn't live to tell the tale if you did. Civilised people knock and wait to be asked in. Never said I was civilised. All the same. Close the door behind you on your way out. I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm supposed to be giving my dad a lift home. Are you now? Then you'd know he finished half an hour ago. Exactly. Which means there'll be uh, no interruptions. To what? Well, it's a season of goodwill and you weren't short on that last night. I like to do my bit for the unfortunate. Really? In fact, I'd say you went the extra mile. It was a pleasure. Although I don't like to brag. In fact, you went further than most. Oh. Is Adam around? I'll come back when the coast is clear then, yeah? He's out at Victoria's tonight, again. Better pull me a drink then, aren't you? It'll have to be like Fight Club, this. Rule number one, we do not talk about having a facial. <laughs> Rule number two, we do not tell anybody <laughs> about having a facial. <sighs> Did Ron buy it when you told her about your bad back? Yeah, I put my sick voice on and everything. I feel a bit bad now. Mate, you gotta chill out. It's just a rough back. It's not like you've cheated on her. I've just been a bit of an idiot over the past few weeks. I got myself to play. Well, tell her that. She'd love it. It's just when you see someone trying to take your place, you know. Brett, he couldn't. I know, but I've been an idiot with him and all. I'm gonna need to make more effort. Yeah, but. Priorities? I mean, we've got to work our way through the cocktail menu first. <laughs> <laughs> you do realise we could probably blackmail each other to the grave with this. Which is why we can never fall out ever again. True that, it would be mutually assured destruction. <laughs> Good to be back in business with you again, mate. Yeah, I've missed you. Would it be going too far to have a pedicure? Which is why we will always be friends. Because we think the same thing at the same time. I have never been so humiliated in my life. You know, it's one thing lying to me, but it's another being so blatantly obvious that everybody else knows about it. Ah, uh, you covered it. Grace under fire. Nice touch. It's like he thinks I want him to stop enjoying himself, but, you know, I was the one who told him to get back out there and start doing stuff. I don't see what you're so upset about, then. Because it's like he doesn't trust me anymore, Brett. We're not worth anything without that. I think you need to say all this to him, not me. He gets suspended and I fill in for him. He wants to patch things up with Marlon and I push my feelings to one side. So what do you get out of this? Exactly nothing. <laughs> No offence. It's early days for the rot to set in. It was like this after a couple of years. Good luck with the next 40. <laughs> Do you know what? Just ignore me, cos I am going to feel so guilty for slagging him off later. He should be bending over backwards to keep you. Yeah, well, we wouldn't be in this mess if he was more like you. Maybe you just deserve better. What, what the hell do you think you're doing? So? Is that a Scottish thing, being able to neck a bottle of whiskey without blinking? You're on thin ice, sunshine. But I suppose you can't help your ignorance being inbred and all that. Ah. Call me what you like. In fact, go for it, because whatever you say, it always ends up in the same thing happening. You have a real gift for lowering the tone, do you know that? Yeah, I can lower it even more if you like. Please just do it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I, I didn't know you were having a pie. You should have said, Mum. Uh, Keen's just worried about his dad. Thinks he may be overdoing it. Yeah. Because mm. he, he got an early finish this morning, so I'm not too sure how you wear that one out. 
way is getting on, isn't it? So. Anyway, thank you for the chat. I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll tell you to stop mourning. Oh, and, uh, thanks for the drink. Oh. Zach, really? He's just looking out for his family, like you do. There not better be anything going on, Mum. Oh, whatever, Adam. Trace, eh? Not now, Spencer. Trace, what happened? I don't know. Five years custodial. Oh, God, love, I'm so sorry. What will you tell her? I just want to see my dad. You know the rules. Yeah, but her dad, right? She said that he got the top lawyer. Not good enough, obviously. Hey. Sorry, the, uh, the phone just kept ringing and the interviews ran over. It's OK. It's not like I'm going anywhere, is it? Miss bath time, then. Yeah. You know, you've got the most important job in the whole world. Jen, I'm, I'm so grateful that my daughter's got a mother like you, because no one else could do it. Then why isn't it enough for me? Being a mum. I mean, I don't want to miss out on a single thing that she does, but I don't want to end up presenting her because I missed out. You haven't. Jen, you know, you did yourself really proud in there today. My dad's not easy to please, trust me. Oh, it just keeps happening, though. That job is perfect for me, and then... Every time I nearly get it, something gets in the way. I don't see what else we can do. Are you by yourself? I can't have anyone know that I've been here. You're well paranoid, you, aren't you? I mean, it's not like this paparazzi waiting to see where you turn up next. No, but Adam is. If he ever found out... What, is uh, is, is there something to find out? Thank you for not saying anything. It would kill me to spend another Christmas alone, especially this one. We're being civil now, because I think I preferred it when you weren't. I mean it, he'd be devastated. It's like he doesn't care who I'm with, just as long as it's not you. You know, you need to work on your chat-up lines. I know it's been 20-odd years since you've been out of the game, but still... I know. I, I, I don't mean it like that. I got carried away. And I was glad he came in when he did. Well, you, you didn't look too chuffed. I, it sobered me up, put it that way. And I would be really grateful if we could just leave it there. No. I don't think we can do that. King, please, we have to. It's a bit late for that now. Well, I think I have a say in this as well. Oh, you said it all last night. And before you... you know, when he came in. I better go. You sure? I've got to go home. Fine. I'll be in touch. Please, we've got to talk about this. Well, we just did. And I'm sorry, but you were way out of line. I have to um, put the alarm on, so you need to leave. Don't tell him. I just, I just misread the signals, that's all. What signals? I was talking to my colleague about my husband. People do that kind of thing all the time. I just mean how you're always saying you're not happy. Out on the skids. And then getting him out of the way and telling me you think it's finished. I could have the same conversation with any number of my friends. It's hardly a come on. Paddy and I have a business. We have a family, a, a history together. Fine. So why are you always complaining about it? 
Do you know what? I don't know why I'm bothering to even explain it to you, because it is none of your business. But all I've heard from you is, is how you get taken for granted, how it's all one way. I'm just trying to understand it, that's all. No, you don't. You're not going to turn this back round onto me. It's a bit late to start playing Mr Nice Guy, isn't it, when you've just hit on somebody else's wife? Why don't you start acting like his wife? I think you should go. Fine. See you tomorrow. I mean, like, go properly. I will pay you till the end of the week. Why? Because I dared to tell you the truth. Be fair. Whatever he does, he's never going to make you happy. I am happy. This is how happy looks in the real world. It's, it's messy and you muddle through. Sure. Keep telling yourself that. Celebrating 100 years of the Royal Variety performance on ITV1, David Walliams hosts, and it's a star fest in front of Her Majesty the Queen. A bit of Robbie Williams, Kylie, Catherine Jenkins, not forgetting Ashley and Pudsey, and many more next here. How will the TOWIE team cope with going live? Head over to ITV2 at 10 o'clock to find out. <laughs>